guys, welcome back to my channel. You might notice something a little different. I have this kind of pink, rose gold shadow root going on. I um, am living. Let me know what you think down below. It looks a little orangey in this light, but I promise you it's like a peachy rose gold kind of feels. So yeah, I um, just wanted to get that out of the way because I know it looks a little different than the blonde that I had in the previous episodes, episodes, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But today I wanted to come on and talk about breakups. So not so much like, oh, boohoo, breakup stories and that kind of stuff, which not boohoo. If you would like a breakup story, I've had some crazy ones. I'll do a story time, I can do that. But I um, just want to talk about more kind of like the rehabilit- that's kind of an intense word. Let me put on some lipstick. What planet am I on? <coughs> Sorry. That probably looks a little better. Not that like go out without lipstick, I don't care. I just meant like I look so ghostly without it. More along the lines of not rehabilitation, but kind of getting back into an everyday normal life. I took some notes on my phone. First I'll look at my phone background, guys. I don't know if you can see it without the glare. Rick and Morty. Okay. If you can hear my cat, I'm sorry. She's crazy and she's outside. Sorry, I took notes. So we'll start with when you feel like you can't, just know that you can. So the beginning is the worst. You're gonna be in that breakup, whether you broke up with them, they broke up with you. It's still kind of a departure from another person. So you're in that beginning stage of learning how to kind of relive your life without somebody else, which is really hard. It's definitely what I feel like the most devastating part of a breakup is even if you and that person were meant to be together it's the it's the routine of it it's the the how can i say this like the the normality of that lifestyle that you had so you have to kind of relearn yourself and relearn what you like what you want to what you want to do and i mean this is more for if you've even with somebody, because even if you don't live with somebody, you're still used to texting them and calling them and being in communication with them all the time. So I feel like this is for long-term relationships that you haven't lived with somebody or relationships where you've lived with somebody because that's when your routines really kind of get intertwined. Like, what are we going to do when we come home from work? What are we going to do this night? You know? So my advice for this has is like find your hobbies so in the beginning it's gonna suck it's gonna be heart-wrenching you're gonna be sad you're gonna feel like what am i supposed to do like i you feel defeated so you gotta find your hobbies find your passions whether that's the gym whether that's taking an hour out of your day to do some art when you get home or maybe it's rewinding and, or kind of shutting down a little bit and and watching some youtube videos or or watching your favorite TV show that you love, or listening to music, or playing music, all these different sorts of hobbies that kind of give you a little bit of yourself and your mind a, a boost is what I would what I would do. And it's easier said than done. And I know at first you might feel like, well, I don't want to do any of that stuff. I just want to I just want to lay in bed and be sad and figure it out and like process and. That's fine too. These are just the steps to take when you're ready to move forward. Treating yourself. So while you find your hobbies and your love, which can be a little treat to yourself, that's more of just becoming your own again, like a, another, becoming a whole again, instead of a half or instead of a part of somebody else and an us, you're becoming a you. So treating yourself is more along the lines of Go get you some cute workout clothes. Go get your nails done. Get your hair done. Color your hair. Cut your hair. Change something up. Do something that makes you feel good. If, if that is going to get a pedicure or a manicure or taking yourself shopping or just treating yourself however you would like to be treated. Whether that's treating yourself with with a visit from a friend or or like I said, shopping and 
Summer retail therapy never hurt anybody. <laughs> really think that another awesome part of becoming a you instead of a, a we or an us is that you could just spend more time with your friends. Embrace your friends in this kind of time because it's gonna be the best time you guys are gonna have. The most pure, genuine, like they're there for you when you're down type of hangout. Just the people that you go to when go to in general, but the people you go to when you're just down. Like, you know, they're not gonna kick you when you're down. They're gonna help you back up. Avo on that same note, avoid people that are going to kick you while you're down. You don't need any negativity in your life when you're going through something hard. You don't need, this can apply to an ending of a friendship, a loss of anybody, whether it be a breakup or a, or a friendship or a family member that you don't get along with or a passing, even if someone passed away. These are all things that come into play when you're mourning a loss of anybody, whether it's because you guys broke up or because you aren't friends anymore. And it's just, it's a healing process. When you, I always feel like you give a little piece of yourself to somebody when you have a relationship with them, whether that's a dating relationship or a friend relationship. And I feel like when those end, they take that little piece with them. So you have to kind of figure out, well, what do I want in that space instead? Oh, and one of the other things that I was noting about is knowing your worth. So don't, don't go in the mindset of, well, what did I do? What could I have done more? What could I have done better? Could I have changed the situation? I think it's good to self-reflect. If it was a mutual argument or, or mutual wronging, but you have to know when you did wrong and when it's something you did versus who you are. Because you're not a bad person. You might have done something bad. That person might not have forgiven you. They might have done something bad to you and made you feel like it was something you did wrong, which a lot of times does happen. So knowing who you are and knowing your self-worth will really help in a process like this because you are pretty much all you've got. It's like sink or swim. So it's just finding yourself is so important. So important. Knowing your worth, knowing what you deserve, knowing what you don't deserve. Learn from every every relationship you've ever had, learn from it. Positive, negative, if it's still someone you have in your life, why are they still in your life? Learn, learn from that relationship. Make yourself better because of it. You have an awesome relationship with a close friend. See what makes it so awesome and apply those to other areas of your life. I have a really good friend, Sydney, and we have gotten arguments before and gotten fights before, and we are, we constantly learn from it. It's something both of us have grown from. Both of us have become better people and better friends to have because of it. So it's just, it's a lot, but it, all these little things add up and they add to be who you are, how you treat other people, how your life is going to turn out because I think relationships greatly affect that. Who you are going to become as a person. I think that's, I think I hit everything that I wanted to talk about. Just when you feel like you can't, don't give up. And after you, you kind of build yourself up, start finding, finding yourself again and finding your hobbies and finding things that you love and things that make you happy and being around people who you love and that make you happy. And all of those things, you'll end up finding yourself. You'll find who you are. It'll make you a better person. Learn from your mistakes and and grow from that. And it can only make you a better person. And even if it might feel like it's the worst thing that's ever happened to you, you're the saddest that you've ever been. You are just so down. And you feel like you needed that person. I need them. I need them. What am I going to do? do? And you just feel like your life's in shambles. Just know it'll get better. Just know it will. I promise. I'll tell you, if you guys want to see a crazy breakup story or anything like that, let me know. Uh, about a year, over a year ago, I had the, the just the craziest of crazy experience and it really formed me into who I am today. And I am so grateful that it happened, even though it felt like a nightmare when I was in it. I felt like I was sad and I felt like I would been mistreated. And, and those experiences, trust me, make you the best is all I have to say. Let me know what you think about this peachy goodness. I'm kind of feeling it, very spring. 
food. I don't know what that was, but anyways, I love hearing from you guys. Thank you for all the support. My thrift haul was, has been doing so well. I've had so many comments from you guys, and it's been so fun. So by the feedback on that, I'm guessing you like them. I'll do more of them. I love it. But thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great night.